I'm Amber Marshall, and I'm here to have some fun. As a teenager, I was always very, very outdoorsy. Uh, I loved horses. I had a horse that I would spend every moment I could with. I remember when school was over, my mom would pick me up from high school and drive me right out to the barn where I would spend the whole evening and any moment that I wasn't in school, I was definitely with my horse. I also worked at a vet clinic any chance I could. So I started doing that when I was 16 and that continued all through my high school years and that was how I was able to afford having a horse. <laughs> and I just remember working any chance I could get so that I could be with the animals, not only at the vet clinic, but then be able to spend time with my horse as well. If I could go back in time and tell my teenage self anything, I wouldn't. I absolutely would not. Because I think that being a teenager is about making mistakes. It's about learning those lessons. Because if you don't learn them yourself, you'll never take someone's word for it completely. And you're gonna make them at some point in your life. So I think that's what being a teenager is, is just diving in feet first, knowing that this might not be the right path, but I'm sure gonna try it and figure it out. I think that most teenagers feel that they're always trying to, to prove to someone something, whether it be their parents, their teachers, their friends. Their, and it's an interesting time because you really don't know who you are to begin with. I remember there was a moment, I had just started high school, and I didn't really know anyone because I had moved to a different area where I didn't have any of the same friends that I had previously. And I was going to lunch with this group of friends that I didn't know if I fit in or not. And I was walking along outside and there was a baby squirrel that had fallen out of the tree. And I went over and it was severely dehydrated and it wasn't doing well. And I said, we should probably call someone or take this poor thing somewhere. And they all laughed at me and said, ew, that's disgusting. If you go anywhere near that, I'm not talking to you again. And I remember it was in that moment that I said, okay. And off they went, and I decided right then and there, this is not who I want to spend my high school with. And so I continued to care for the squirrel, and I found a box, and I took it to the local vet clinic where I ended up working years later. And I thought to myself, you know, I want friends who are going to support me and who are going to be into the same things that I'm into. And it's those decisions that really shape the rest of your life. So I think that it's moments like that that you always need to stay true to who you are.